thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna decorate my classic spread for next week. And I finished my, that's my monthly, I finished my after the pin for, um, this is Sunday, so I was able to go ahead and finish it. I was gonna show you what it looked like, the modern meow spread with the neutral jungle sticker pack. So I like how that turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pages and get started on this week and I picked up the playful tile this earlier this week and I'm so excited to use this sticker book for this spread so let me kind of flip through and see what colors are gonna jump out at me there's just so many pretty ones in here okay I'm drawn toward the pink and the orange After flipping through, the first thing that really jumps out at me is this circle sticker. But you know that I gotta do a little sticker surgery on that circle because I don't really want the gold quote around it because I wanna probably cut it. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off and I'll save the quote just, just like it is in case I wanna use it some other time. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna put this down here, try to get it straight, where the design is straight. And trim it off. So if I do it strategically, maybe I can use it three different places and it still look like a circle, like peeking on the page. So I think I'll do that there. And this here. I don't really have a plan other than I want to go with the circles. Okay, actually, I don't know. I think maybe I'm gonna do this over here. Just keep it all this circle in the sidebar. Scoot this up a little bit. Okay, now I think I'll use this one kind of to fill in. Okay, and these little tiles or circles, I think I'm gonna do a couple of those but cut the quote off of it and just use them over here a little bit, scattered out, like smaller versions of that big one. Okay. 
Okay, that's cute. And then maybe one down here. I wish I had more of those. Okay, I'll cut that one and use it down at the bottom. Okay, now let's see, where would I wanna put this? Okay, but what about that right there? Okay, let's do this circle that says noted layered off this big box. What if I do this here? I'm gonna get a little cluster going. Let's see if I have a full box. Okay, that could work. I don't love this pointed shape. Wonder if I could do I could probably cut that part off and then use this, one of these, to close it off. I think I just like that better. Okay, I'd like something to pull all that together. So what about this little circle that says, let's do this right here? Okay, I think that's cute. Okay, and then let's get up some boxes down to the bottom. Okay, there aren't any slender boxes in here, so I'm gonna transform these into smaller boxes. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one here and then I'll just use the little scrap in the book, like the little outline to close it off and put this here. See if there's another one of these I could use. We'll do this one says keep life fun and it's the opposite color of that one. Okay, and we'll do that to kind of hold the pull those together. And let's see what else we need. I think we need a quote here. So let's do It's Your Time to Shine. Okay, I think that looks cute. And then over here, I think I wanna go ahead and do some lines in this box. It has a 
faint kind of small dot grid, so I don't even need to use a stencil. I like this that says it's a good day to have a good day, but I'm gonna trim off some of the white. Let's try it on Saturday, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna do this here, the other part of that orange one. Okay, there's something I don't like about all the blue and green in it because I know it's in here over here, but it's really small. I think I wanna keep the, the spread pink and orange. So I'm gonna take the quotes up. So what if I do, is this too big? Oh no, it tore. Let's see. Okay. It could I could move this down. And have that quote up at the top. Okay, let's see if this works. It tore when I pulled it off the page, but hopefully it'll piece back together seamlessly. Okay, yeah, I don't think you can tell. What do we think about that? I think it's kind of fun. And then here's a pink and orange one that says, hello, happy life. I could do it over here. And I'm kind of thinking about doing some lines here and here, then I could do bullet points here and here, and then worry about this side in just a minute. And let's do some up here. Okay, now let's do, I'm gonna go ahead and do bullet points now and then finish the rest. So I definitely wanna go with pink and orange. Okay, I do have these squares see how they would look. I 
kind of think I want to do something a little bit uh, brighter because this is like a soft pink and peach. So I want to do it bright like that. So let me keep looking. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is hole punch the extra in these little strips to use for bullet points. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this page out. And I've just got a regular circle hole punch. That way they'll match for sure. I could do a couple down here. And with these, if you kind of, they're hard to get apart if you try to pick them apart like this, but if you kind of slide it with your finger, it'll slide off, especially since this is like that clear material. So there's the pink and then let me get an orange. Okay, so we'll do that one there, and and then I think here and here. Maybe I'll do them here. If I do this lighter pink box here, just like that, or should I layer it off of it? Nah, I don't really like how wide it is though. Okay, I feel like that's better. Okay, and I saw this little like washi strip with all the pinks and the oranges. I'm gonna trim it and use this part up here. And this part right here. this little pink flag. I think I'm going to layer it underneath this. I'll scoot it down just a little bit. Let it be layered at the side like this. Move it down a little bit more. I don't know about this. What if I put it down here? Would that be cute? I think I'm going to cut it again. And then I can use it three different places. That's what I'm gonna do. I think I'll use it there and here. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this too. So I'll have one of these over here. How about if I use it up here? Let me scoot these down a little bit. Okay, I think I'm gonna cut these, the rest of these, like I did those, and just use sprinkle around because it just needs a little bit of something. Okay, so. So I'm just gonna kind of drop these off like I would flowers. Put one here and then I think I'll put the other side here. Then this one I'll do right down here. one here and one here 
They're really small, but I feel like they make a, make a big difference. Like they're really pulling it all together. Okay, so this one over here and one right there. I think I'll do the other orange flag like this right over here. So where else could I put this? We could do that there. do this in this corner and do this piece up here what if I switch these to kind of have a little bit of each pattern on each side so I could move this over there and put this here. I think that would work better. little tiny bit up there to kind of pull it together. Okay, I'm gonna use this box, I think, that says Weekend Fun right here. Actually, I think I'm just gonna take the Weekend Fun part off. And What if I lift this up Okay, and then I have this piece that I could layer under this one. Okay, and I think that's all I'm gonna add to it. It did take a little bit longer to come together, but I'm really happy with how it came out. I love the vibrant pink and orange together. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I put this together. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.